Hello, in this lecture tutorial, we want to learn how to prepare loan amortization schedule in Excel. Let's get started. Now we have the loan information of 20 million at 13% interest rate and five times in years. Okay, we have zero balloon payments. So we have four different time basis annual, which represents one, semi annual, quarterly, and monthly. So the first thing we want to do is to you know insert combo box from control. So come to the developer tab, okay. Under the controls group, click on insert, and of course we have the combo box from control here. So I'm going to just make a slide small from control. Then I'm going to right click and come to format control, and of course I want to ensure that this is not moved or resized. So I'm going to check this under the properties. And come to the controls for my input range. I'm going to select all these, okay, all in absolute. And for my cell link, then I'm going to select the value in cell G3 in absolute. Then we can just make it to be 3D, do not necessary. And we click OK. So when we click on the drop down, we can see annual, semi, quarterly, and monthly. Now the next thing I want to do is to prepare our time factor. So for this, I'm going to use the choose function. Then for my index number, which is the first argument, I'm going to select whatever value in cell J3, make it the absolute. And for my value one, so for annual, I'm going to make it the one, comma, semi annual two, comma, quarterly four, and monthly twelve. Then we we'll close our choose control enter. Now we are having value error, the problem. Then I'm going to select monthly, for example. Okay, can you see that we have 12? If I choose, for example, quarterly, we have 4. So, which is fine. Let's just put it back to monthly. Now, I want to calculate our adjusted rate. So, for that, I'm going to say equal sign, take my original interest rate, then divide by the value in the time factor, then control enter. So, come to the home tab. I want to make it the percentage increase decimal so 1.1 is the adjusted in the rate if i'm going with the monthly time basis now for the total periods what is the equal sign so i'm going to take the value for the times in years multiplied by the time factor then control enter so we have 60 months okay so to make my life very easy i'm going to apply you know name range so I'm going to select all this value, Control Shift F3, and of course I'm okay with the left column, which is correct. Then we'll click OK. I'm going to do the same thing for this, Control Shift F3, oh, excuse me, and of course the left column is very fine. Okay, so we have all our, you know, name range, so that will be able to work faster. So coming to cell 18, I'm going to put in, you know, one first period. So for my second period, I'm going to say if this value does not equal to empty, then take the value and add one. And if false, just give me an empty string, then control enter. So let's drag it down to okay, wow, around 60. Okay, this is 52. Okay, because we have 60, you know, period. Okay, now, let's get started. So, for my payment, I'm going to use the PMT, PMT. So, the PMT calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. So, for my first argument, now, you remember that you have named or ranges. So, I'm going to use the adjusted rate for my rate first argument so i'm going to just type in adjusted comma so the number of periods i'm going to use the total period comma and for the present value which is the loan amount name range and for the you know future value which is the balloon payment oh, excuse me balloon payment and of course we want it to be end of period so we close this enter so we're going to be paying 45, 455,000 
61.46 naira monthly. So let's calculate the principal. So for this, I'm going to use the PPMT, which returns the payment on the principal for a given investment based on periodic constant payments and constant interest rates. So for this, I'm going to use, you know, adjusted rate also. And for period, now I'm going to select this. Okay? <coughs> and for the end power, and I'm going to use the total period period and the future present value which is the loan amount and of course we have the balloon payment for the future value which is an option argument and we want an end of period then we close that control enter okay the next one we're going to do is to calculate the interest rate so for this we're going to use the ip MT, which returns the interest payment for a given period for an investment based on periodic constant payments and constant interest rate. So again, adjusted interest rate period, which is this, and number of period, which is total periods, and of course the loan amount, which is the you know, present value, but loan payments which is the feature value and of course end of period close control enter then we can widen the columns so the interest is going to be 216666.67 now let's calculate okay let's just send it down just for a moment now let's calculate the cumulative principle so for this i'm going to use the sum function so what am i summing i'm going to take this principal then colon so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lock this section make it absolute control enter then we send it down and of course we're going to do the same thing for cumulative interest again we're going to select the original interest colon then we we'll make this to be absolute then control enter then we we'll send it down. Now we're we'll going to calculate the remaining principal, which is going to be the loan amount plus the um, plus the um, cumulative principal. Then control enter. Okay. Now let's come back. And make some slight adjustment. These are fine, fine. Now I'm gonna come back to this section. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to you know come inside this formula here. Alright, I think that's fine. Now for this, I'm gonna take all this value, control C, escape, then I'm gonna paste it here. And I'm going to make this to be 11. Enter. Then let's send it down and see whether we are actually correct. Absolutely correct. So you discover that by the 60th you know, month, we would have finally paid off all the loan that you know, we received, including the interest and the principal. So this is how to prepare loan amortization schedule now this is monthly so if i can i can change this one to let's say want to go with quarterly payments can you see now let's move down so you discover that by the 20th month we would have finished paying the <coughs> excuse me the loan if we are paying quarterly and of course if you are doing semi-annually by the ninth oh sorry by the tenth Okay, by the tenth in a month we are true. Let's check the quarterly again. Then we got that slightly wrong. Okay, yeah, by the twentieth month, yes, that's fine. So let's put it back to the monthly. So by sixtieth month would have you know finished paying the loan. I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel because there are more Excel and Power Bi training videos coming up. Thank you. And bye for now.